Okay, in the last lectures uh, we have discussed about the weighted resistor D to A converter and uh, R to R ladder D to A converter. The drawback of uh, this uh, weighted resistor and uh, R to R ladder DSCs is the current through the resistors varies with the input uh, bit pattern. current through the resistor changes with the input bitward. And the input a digital input. You can easily see that here the voltage is this much, this much, this much, whereas the resistors are same. So, the current here is different from the current here, current here. So, if the bit pattern changes, the voltage here will be different again. This voltage of minus Vr by 16, this is corresponding to 0, 0, 0,01 corresponding to 100 the voltage here is Vc we have got as minus Vr by 4. This is minus Vr by 4 for input of 100 whereas the same voltage at node is node C is minus Vr by 16 if the input bit pattern is 001 for 001 minus Vr by 16 for 100 minus Vr by so, because of this uh, different voltage, but uh, in both the cases this is 2R, so the current through this one is varies with the input bit pattern. Even in the case of R uh, weighted resistor DAC also. So, because of this uh, current change in the resistors due to the change in the input bit pattern, the power dissipation will be more. To avoid this, we will use uh, inverted R to R ladder DAC. Here we are going to show that regardless of the input uh, bit pattern, that is regardless of the values of the digital input, the current through the resistors remains constant. Because of that, the voltage across the resistor is constant thereby less power consumption as well as so the stay capacitance will not uh, slow down the performance of the DAC. These are the two advantages of uh, inverted R to R ladder DAC. If I consider 3 bit inverted R to R ladder DAC, the circuit diagram is as follows. This is R, R, this is 2 R, this is minus V R, this is 2 R, 2 R, 2 R. So, one major difference between the R 2 R ladder DAC and inverted R 2 R ladder DAC is here we are going to apply the MSB bit. And 
and here LSB. In case of uh, direct R2 to ladder, here it is uh, LSB and here it is MSB. This is one difference. And another difference is here in any case the current uh, flows through the ground regardless of the switch position. And the switch is connected to the right position. This is connected to a minus terminal correspond to the plus terminal this switch is connected to the left Here this is connected to the feedback resistor RF, here output V0 is taken. And this point is grounded. So this also will be at ground potential because of the virtual ground. If I assume that this current is I0, the same I0 will flow through this one. Let this current is I1 because of this D1, this is I2, this is I3. DI in general, I varies from 1 to 3, will be connected to right position this is right position and this is left right position which is connected to minus if it is at logic 1, whereas DI will be connected to left position, which is nothing but positive terminal of half amp, if it is at logic 0. Now, an interesting uh, fact here is, if this uh, D1, D2, D3 bits are 0, then uh, this will be connected to the positive terminal here, this will be connected here. This will be connected here if this bit is 0 and this will be connected here if this bit is 1. So, in either of these uh, positions, so if this is connected to this point, this will current will flows from here to here to ground. If this switch is connected to the right position, say this here the current will flow here, 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 this also flows to flows to ground because this is also at virtual ground. That is regardless of this uh, D bits whether D is 0 or 1, the current always flows to the ground and these resistor values are equal because of that the current through these resistors is independent of the pattern of D1, D2, D3. So, whatever the combination of this D1, D2, D3, we can have 8 combinations 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, so on up to 1, 1, 1. For all the 8 positions, the current I1, I2, I3 are constant. This is one of the beautiful feature of this inverted R2 or ladder DSE. So, because of that, what happens is the voltage at these points is same.
regardless of this d1, d2, d3 input uh, binary word. So, because these voltage here are same, so this will be less affected by stray capacitances. So, stray capacitors will not be able to slow down the performance of the DAC. Whereas, in case of the direct R2 R ladder or weighted resistor, these voltages are different as you have seen in the previous uh, slides. So, because of that, uh, the stray capacitance will slow down the performance. So, in that way, uh, this uh, inverted R2 R ladder is faster than the, the previous uh, two DACs. This is one advantage of inverted ladder R2 or ladder DAC and second one is low power consumption. Why? Because the current is uh, constant regardless of D1, D2, D3 values. So, if there is a change in the current then it will dissipate more power, okay. but here independent of D1, D2, D3 positions current is constant, so power consumption is less. So, we can see how this current will be constant here in this uh, branches. If I consider the equivalent current diagram, if I assume that the reference current is uh, 2 milliamps, then the circuit diagram will be like this. Now, this is 2 milliamps here. Let us call this as node A, node B, node C. So, in any case, this point will be connected to the ground regardless of this D1, D2, D3. So, what will be the total resistance? If you look from here, this is total resistance to the right side of this node A. Is these are two R values. This is two R. This is R R. So this two R two R in parallel. So resultant is R. This R plus this R total up to here. This is two R. Again this two R this two R in parallel. So up to here this is R. This R plus R total two R. 
So, here this is a 2R and to the right side the entire circuitry is having 2R resistance means this 2 milliamps will be equally distributed between this branch and this branch. This is 1 milliamp here and 1 milliamp here. Similarly, if I see at the B right side of this, this is 2R again and this is 2R, this is 1 milliamp. So, this will be again equally divided into 0.5 milliamps and 0.5 milliamps. Again at C, right side also this is 2R, this is 2R. So, this current is this current is uh, 0.5 milliamps. So, this will be 0.25 milliamps, this will be 0.25 milliamps. This is regardless of this D1, D2, D3. This is how we can uh, maintain the constant current to the resistors regardless of D1, D2, D3 values. Okay. Now, we will discuss one problem on this inverted R to R ladder D to A converter. Consider the following. inverted R to R ladder DAC. This was the DAC that we have considered in the previous uh, slide. When switch is connected to right side, it is connected to negative terminal and switch connected to positive terminal. the RF, the I naught, the I naught, this is virtual ground, this is actual ground, this is minus VR, this is 2R, R, 2R, R, 2R, 2R. If R is equal to RF is equal to 10 kilo ohms, determine the output V0 if D1, D2, D3 is equal to 1, 1, 1. This is D1 MSB, this is D2, this is D3 LSB.
So, if uh, d1, d2, d3 are 111, this will be connected to the negative terminal. So, the equivalent circuit of this one will be now simply minus Vr R R to R. This is 2R connected to the negative terminal. This 2R also will be connected to the negative terminal. This is also connected to the negative terminal. These three will be short circuited. I terminal will be simply grounded. This is RF. This is I naught. This is also I naught. Because here the current is zero. If I assume that out up amp is ideal, this is the equivalent circuit. If I call this current as I1, this as I2, this as I3, then the current that is entering here is I0. At this junction, all the currents I1, I2, I3 and I0 are entering. So, I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I0 is equal to 0 or implies I0 is equal to minus of I1 plus I2 plus I3. Now, here the voltage is minus Vr because this point is shorted with this. So, what is the expression for I1? This is at uh, ground potential, this is also ground potential, this is also ground potential. So, the direction of the current is this. So, I1 is equal to this voltage is minus Vr minus of this voltage is 0 divided by resistance is 2R. This is simply minus Vr by 2R. It is given that R is equal to Rf is equal to 10 kilo ohms and let us assume that it is also given the Vr value, let Vr is equal to 10 volts. Then what will be this? Minus 10 divided by 20 kilo ohms, 0.5 milliamps, right? Now, what is I2? As you have seen in the previous uh, slide, the current through this one is half of the current through this because this current will be divided equally between this branch and this branch. Similarly, this current will be equally distributed between this branch and this branch. As a result of that, this I2 is equal to I1 by 2, this is equal to 0.25 milliamps. I3 is equal to I2 by 2. This is of course minus value, minus is there, this is also minus, this is equal to minus 0 0.125 milliamps. So, what is I naught from here? I naught is minus of I1 plus I2 plus I3. This is equal to minus of, you got this as 0.5 plus 0.25 plus 0.125, all are in milliamps. So, this total value will be 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.125 is 0.875. This is equal to minus 0.875 milliamps. So, we want the output voltage V naught. You can see that from here to here, this direction of current is 
from output to this virtual ground. So, I naught is equal to V naught minus 0 divided by Rf. implies V naught is equal to I naught into RF. RF is given as 10 kilo ohms. This is minus of all these values are minus. Minus 0.5 milliamps minus 0.25 minus 0.125. So, as a result of that this minus minus becomes plus. This is equal to 0.875 into 10 to the power of minus 3 into RF is given as 10 kilo ohms. So, this two will get cancelled. This is equal to 8.75 volts. So, this is uh, about this inverted uh, R to R ladder D to A converter. There are some uh, DTA converters which are available in IC form also. They are called as monolithic DTA converters. In this again, uh, the output of this DTA converter can be current or voltage or uh, both. If I take this MC14XX family, this will produce the output in the form of current. And if I take this XX family output is voltage. If we take data family output is both voltage and current. This is called hybrid D to A converter. I will consider one of this uh, monolithic DTA converters and I will discuss the details of uh, this particular DTA converter. This is MC1408. So, the last two digits 08 stands for 8 bit DTA converter. This 8 bits is also called as a resolution. I will define what is resolution at the end of this lecture. See here you can uh, see that the output will be in the form of a current. To get the output uh, voltage, we need a current to voltage converter. This is basically current to voltage converter. This you have to connect externally. This is available in IC form. These components you have to connect externally. So, this I reference will be simply V reference by R reference. Here if I take 2 volts DC 1 uh, kilo ohm R reference we will get this one as 2 by 1 kilo ohm this is equal to 2 milliamps. For this uh, MC1408, the reference current will be 2 milliamps. And the expression for the output current in terms of this MSBBT as D7, LSBBT as D0. So, in the previous discussions, uh, we have assumed this lowest D0 as MSB and D7 as MSB, but in this particular IC, D7 is MSB and D0 is LSB. Then the expression for the output current, this output current produced by 
this MC1408 is given by I reference into the MSBBT is D7, D7 into 2 raised to the power of minus 1 plus D6 2 raised to the power of minus 2, D5 2 raised to the power of minus 3, D4 2 raised to the power of minus 4, D3 2 raised to the power of minus 5, D2 2 raised to the power of minus 6, D1 2 raised to the power of minus 7, D0 2 raised to the power of minus 8. This is the expression for the output current produced by this uh, DTA converter subjected to this 8 bit digital input. This is the digital input. This is analog output. As I have told, analog output will be in the form of current. If you take the other uh, family, it may produce the output as a voltage. And there are some ICs which produce both current as well as voltage. So, this I reference is nothing but again this V reference divided by this R reference. And if you want expression for the output to voltage here after this current to voltage converter. So, what is the expression for the V naught in terms of I naught because this current is I naught this is a 0, this entire current I naught will be flows through this RF. So, this is V naught, this is 0. So, the expression for V naught is equal to RF into I naught. This is equal to I naught is this expression. If you substitute this here, this is V reference by R reference into R feedback resistance into this D7 2 raised to the power of minus 1 plus D6 2 raised to the power of minus 2 plus so on up to plus D0 2 raised to the power of minus 8. So, this will produce the analog output correspond to the digital input D7 to D0. So, as I have told there is one important term like uh, resolution of this uh, D2A converter. This is one of the very important parameters for uh, D2A converter as well as A2D converter. For D2A converter, the resolution is defined as the smallest change in the output. Voltage which may be produced at the output of converter. converter here is D to A converter. You can define this in a similar manner for A to D converter also. So, in order to uh, better understand this, I will take an example. If I take 3 bit uh, D to A converter, with a full scale voltage of 5 volts. So, this will be having a 2 raised to the power of 3 minus 1 equal time intervals. That is, if I take this input as digital
hysteresis correspond to the line 1 1 1 this is correspond to 1 1 0 this is 1 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 this should be equally placed 0 0 1 and 0 0 0 total we will be having 8 levels but 7 equal time intervals this is important so this is one time interval this is another time interval this is third one fourth one fifth one sixth one seventh one there are seven equal time intervals this is correspond to digital input but due to a converter output is analog output if i assume that the full scale is 5 volts so the minimum voltage is 0 volts and maximum voltage is 5 volts now what will be the voltage corresponding to one time interval this voltage so you can easily see that there are total 7 time intervals we are going to distribute 7 uh, equal time levels are there for 5 volts 7 equal time intervals is equal to 5 volts then what is one time interval is equal to 1 by 7 into 5 volts this will come to say 0 0.71 volts so the meaning of this one is if i change from 0 0 0 to 0 0 1 or 0 0 1 to 0 1 0 with the minimum or the smallest change in the output voltages this should be 0 0.71 volts if i change this uh, digital words by one increment or decrement there will be smallest change in the output is 0 0.7 volts this is called resolution now this is 0 0.71 volt is correspond to 0 0 001 correspond to 0 010 0 0.71 plus 0 0.71 1.42 like that if you goes on adding 0 0.7 and 0 0.71 finally you will get here correspond to 111 5 volts so if you find out this 000, 000 is corresponding to 0 volts 001 is corresponding to 0 0.71 volts 010 is corresponding to 1.42 volts so on 111 is corresponding to 5 volts so this smallest change that will be produced at the output of the DTA converter is called as a resolution so what is the expression for the resolution here this is full scale voltage divided by 7 if it is a 3 bit DTA converter in general for a n bit DAC the resolution is defined as v full scale divided by for n is equal to 3 this is 7 means 2 raised to the power of 3 minus 1 in general 2 raised to the power of n minus 1 so for n bit d to a converter the resolution will be v full scale divided by 2 raised to the power of n minus 1 
sometimes this uh, 3 bits this itself will be called as the resolution sometimes the resolution is called as here in this case one part in seven parts from here is equal to one part in seven parts there are different ways to represent the resolution but the most commonly used resolution expression is this resolution of uh, n bit d to a converter is v full scale divided by 2 raised to the power of n minus 1 that is the smallest change in the output if i change from 0 0 0 to 0 0 1 or any two consecutive code words if i change from one code word to another adjacent code word then the change in the output voltage will be 0.71 volts if i take an example suppose there is a 9 bit d to a converter as a resolution of the 10.3 millivolts if 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 produces 0 volts what is the output voltage correspond to one zero one one zero say one 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 so resolution means one time interval is ten point three millivolts then you can see from here that 7 time intervals is correspond to the full scale voltage. So, what is the decimal equivalent of this? 10101011 is equal to this 1 into 2 raised to the power of 8. This is the weight of this one this is 2 raised to the power of 7 this is 2 raised to the power of 0 2 raised to the power of 1 2 square 2 cube swan 2 to the power of 4 2 to the power of 5 2 to the power of 6 2 to the power of 7 2 to the power of 8 2 to the power of 7 and uh, 4 are 0 remaining all are 1s so what will be this 2 raised to the power of 6 plus 2 raised to the power of 5 plus 2 cube plus 2 square plus 2 to the power of 1 plus 2 to the power of 0. This is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8. 8 into 2 is 16, that is not there. 2 to 5 is 32. This is 64. This is 256. 2 to the power of 8 is 256. 2 to the power of 7 is 128 but 2 to the power of 7 bit is 0. So, correspond to this the decimal value is 359 correspond to 111 decimal value is 7. So, 7 is correspond to total 7 elements which correspond to this. So, one level is correspond to 10.3 millivolts implies 359 level or interval intervals will be equal to three fifty nine into ten point three millivolts. 
Let's see how we can find out the output uh, subjected to different combinations of the digital inputs if we know the resolution or if we know the output uh, full scale output voltage range then for every one change in the code word you can find out what is the change in the output voltage. This is all about uh, the D2A converters. So, next we will discuss unlocked digital converter. Thank you. Thank you.